Hey guys, I thought I'd do a chicken update now that it's in the afternoon and everything's cooling off. Uh, here are the two big brown eggs I get every day. They're production reds like you get in 4-H. They're really good chickens. If you're thinking about getting a flock um, and you're wondering what's the best, easiest, nicest brown egg in my opinion, it's these production reds. Uh, they've just bred it into them and they're real calm, collected animals. There's some mom and the babies over there. I'll go look at them in a second. Where's the other two at? There's one of them. And there comes the other one. They're in the, the old garden area. They like it because they like playing in the dirt. So the two Araconas, they're doing good. A little bit smaller egg. Uh, they skip on me every once in a while, whereas those other ones don't. But they're a real pretty chicken in an ugly kind of way. <laughs> And then let's see the mom and the baby. She's doing good with her nine babies. I'm just, I'm just gonna here. Let me zoom the camera so I don't have to get that close to you. Give me a second. Let me figure out how to zoom this. Maybe you can't zoom it. Never mind. I know. I ain't gonna bother you none. I just want to get some of your babies. Yes, yeah, you come here. Don't attack me. Isn't she a pretty little hen, guys? I know, I ain't gonna mess with you none. But they all have feathers on their feet except for this one right here, closest one to us, towards us. He was the first one to come out, he doesn't have no feathers on his feet. The rest of them, my favorite is that little uh, gray one that was at the butt of her, over to the left of the screen, right there by that white one. It's like a light gray color. But yeah, but they're doing good. They're out now, they've been out all day, and I'm still trying to figure out what they're going to do when they roost tonight, but I don't have no predator, so I'm not really worried about it. you got to take chances on some of this stuff, you just kind of grit your teeth. But, um, and then the other hand you know is over there in that box. Now I did a, a rookie mistake, and it was my fault, but when I, she got done with her eggs, she had six left, she hatched nine, eight, nine, how many did I say, nine, yeah, nine out of fifteen, so there was six left. And I thought there might be one more in there, and so I put them underneath that other hand. And one of them busted, and so it ruined all those eggs. Because, you know, you don't want to put the egg gets juice on it from another egg. Uh, in my opinion, they're not that good. They, they're they very slim chance of hatching out. And so I did have 12 eggs underneath there, and I had to get rid of all but six of them, I think. So we'll see if that. And those had a little bit of nasty juice on them, but not that much. But that was my mistake. Just when you get done with hatching them out, just chunk the rest. Unless you have an incubator, just chunk the rest out in the weeds. Don't try to put them underneath another hen. Um, but and so she only has six eggs left over there, but she's still, that's where she's at. She's over there. Alrighty, guys. These are the girls. Yeah, and, uh, and how I do it is rabbits will tear up a yard quicker than you can shake a stick at in the, in the spring and summer. It's okay because it's growing back, but in the winter and fall, um, they can tear it up. And so the routine I do is um, I let them out about an hour before dark every night. Um, that's the only time they get out. Um, and they eat, and they can do a lot of damage in an hour. But they go and take a come over here to where the garden was, the rest of the leftover of the garden. They'll go in there and scratch and take a bath and all that good stuff. Uh, and so they do get some freedom. But you don't want much more than that, or they will uh, uh, they'll have your yard into pieces. But that's just a side note, too. Um, they're pretty to watch, and they're great for the eggs, but they will tear up a property. Uh, and uh, three chickens, uh, three times seven, five chickens will do not quite uh, three dozen eggs a week. So you don't need that many chickens. Don't think you're going to need a dozen chickens or 18 chickens. Just get three or four, and you'll be fine for a family. Five or six if you want to sell some to friends and family members. Uh, a dozen if you want to get into it where your kids could sell them to people. But uh, my opinion, if you get a dozen or more, uh, plan on keeping them in a coop. Have a big enough coop that they can stay in because there's too many birds for the for the uh, yard, unless you have a chicken area that's designated for that because there won't be nothing but dirt left. Well, I guess I've rambled enough. Just want to show you all the hens. You'll have a good night.